for the next portion, we're going to have to build the walls. And Grandpa thought that this chair, when we were duck hunting, this was like his chair. He absolutely loved it. Um, he loved the height of it. So I'm going to imagine that he's going to be going for a height like this. And from what I read online, you want your windows to be roughly 36 to 38 inches. And Grandpa's a little taller than me, so I'm almost tempted to go even higher to like a 40 inch um, mark. Because, you know, he's, he's taller than I am, so, you know, he's going to want that gun out. But we are going to level it up a little bit on some blocks. So, I think we're going to go in between and do a 38 inch height on the wall for the window opening. Rosie, check this out. I made this last night. Did you want to jump on that? Okay, we have it set up just so we can get a really good idea of the layout. Put this piece of wood here for a handle. As you can see, put the rug down. That makes a really big difference. You can kind of hear the difference there. Uh, but <laughs> Rose loves playing in here. We got the chair flipped around. But you can get an idea of the layout. The chair will obviously face the other way.
it every so often. If I had a chalk line, this would be a killer thing for a chalk line. That actually turned out pretty nice. You got it? Okay, so this weekend is the fall cleanup day in our town and Sam and I were on a walk and we came across some of this uh, corrugated plastic, I think is what you'd call it. And I went and I picked up quite a few pieces of it because I thought, wow, that's some good stuff. That'd be perfect for a project like this. And I'm hoping we can use four pieces and have a little bit of an overhang on the front and the back and both sides. That would really help this stand in lasting a long time. So I'm happy to score that. Um, other than that though, we are loaded to the gills. I got guns and Dad sent me a picture and said that he filled out on his um, 
fishing today, so I packed in a fishing pole and my tackle box, but uh, a lot of what's in here is going to stay up there, so at least uh, the ride home will be a lot lighter. <laughs> uh, yeah, so just finishing up my uh, little bit of packing I'm doing, and tomorrow morning I'm getting up at 3.45, and I will be on the road by 4 o'clock at the latest. Hopefully we'll be up there by 8 in the morning, get all the stands done, and hopefully relax for the uh, afternoon. We'll find out though. I think it's going to be a long day. <laughs> okay guys, I will see you tomorrow morning. Good morning everyone. We are on our way up there and uh, so far we are on schedule. <laughs> Thank you. All right, we made it up here and i seen a couple grouse in the road, so Dad uh, went to go try his luck with that. I'm just unpacking everything, and then I'm going to get everything uh, unstrapped on the trailer. And we'll uh, get that all set up. Okay, so we found a nice spot here. Overlooks kind of a swamp, but the swamp has some deer trails going through here, and uh, it's going to work out nice. We just have to trim up some of these trees. Just right over here. So it's going to sit just to the left here, but we'll overlook this nice area and uh, there's a bunch of trails going through here so it should be pretty pretty optimistic we'll yeah because one thing from here if a person takes a little bit here because there's a trail that goes right there that's why we wanted to yeah. We well, then put the. Let's see. Now we're gonna put the door on which side? That side. Yeah. So that because it's got, and then we're gonna put it the six foot way. So I mean, you the back will have a window, but at right. least you'll have six yeah. foot here and be yeah. able to see out this way. So. Yeah. Yep. 
lifting it next. interesting to see how this plastic um, holds up to really windy. Like if it flops around or breaks off? Right, or, or if it, well, I don't think it'll break, but if it'll be flapping around or if it probably doesn't even get that windy in here though. I mean, we're oh, over the ground and I guess I don't need to put any more. I tried to do the hinge thing, it just didn't want to work out. It didn't hinge right, I didn't like how it looked. Alright, Dad's just cleaning up a little bit out there, but we got it up. Grandpa came by and uh, I think he really liked it. He uh, noticed how tall it was and he likes the heater and everything, so yeah. There we go. Okay, let's get lunch going. Two pounds of hamburger. Have you seen Godzilla vs. Kong? Ah. Uh, the latest one? Well, you know, it was like a year and a half ago or something. I, unless it was up here, no. <laughs> I got it right here. You know what we were trying to me. Remember I was driving up here like second weekend or whatever? And a big buck crossed the road up there maybe. It's just a couple 300 yards down there. And it was like, wow, this river is big. Huh. Yeah, that would work. Spot. Okay. That's pretty good now. <laughs> yeah, so this one is good now. Now we gotta do the 22 mag. Oh, yeah.
No, it's a good fighter though. Is it? So we just finished our Q&A video, that was a couple hours worth of our time, and uh, I think we answered quite a few questions, and uh, Dad just is putting on those New York strip steaks, and the potatoes are on, what time is it, 8.30 something at night, and uh, we are, yeah, we're going to have some dinner, watch this movie, and then probably wrap it up and head to bed but it's been a busy day and uh, we got a lot done though so that's good all right it's currently a little after seven and uh, I've been up for maybe a half hour <laughs> 